ready to play? I didn't come to play. I came to win. Now let's play. Hello everyone and welcome back to our Stellaris Let's Play. And the last episode we took out the remnants of the Yaxclack Peacekeepers. As you can see now, only the um, the sort of liberated planets uh, now to hold their territory, which is kind of sad because I was hoping to get some of their good Gaia worlds, but, well, we can deal with that later. Right now, our main sort of enemy is this Awakened Empire right here, the Nat Fan Can Directors. Um, they're actually the latest em Awakened Empire to show up in our game, but they have definitely proven to be the most troublesome. So, let's get started and see what we can do to uh, solve this is issue. <laughs> in the last episode my fleet was completely destroyed by their uh, four or five hundred thousand K fleets mine almost kicked the bucket as well our alliance fleet was also kind of trashed unfortunately yeah unfortunately I was hoping now could... now we definitely have a like galaxy-wide conflict, because I don't think there is any one of our allies that is not involved in this war. Yeah, um, I know I offered the Tizen Imperial Stars when it came up to join our little thing, but then they didn't. So let's see. Do we have any option? I don't think we can invite them in the oh, war. Oh, they're already associated with another federation. That's why they didn't join us. Boo. Well, strike craft attack speed plus 10%, so we mm -hmm. got a little boost on our firepower for our Atlantis vessel there. Well, that helps. Anything that helps. Oh, sure, we'll be glad to have them in. I have no idea who they are, but sure. Some random, Construction probably small, complete. recently showed up vampire just wanted to join us, so I said sure. Construction complete. Let's contact one of the uh, curators of knowledge, see if we can't get the some of their, uh, you know, much needed research help. I do keep forgetting about those guys. Right now, what the Fallen Empire really have over us is technology, I believe. So, definitely something that we should look into remedying. Their technology is superior, though their fleet power and naval are overwhelming. Mm -hmm. At least to me, anyways. Well, the, the, the fleet power is based on not only design, but also uh, technology. Is the game thinking again? Because I'm not being not being able to comment. Yeah, it's curators. thinking again. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of that. Yeah, definitely like game. It does that a lot, but as long as it doesn't without desyncing or anything else like that, I guess it's all right. Now let's see if these curator insights uh, stack up over each other. Because I'm taking from the curator sigma enclave, I'm getting the uh, getting the curator insight, and that's five thousand energy credits. And now let's talk to the other curator and see if he gives us something else. Uh, 
Oh, the curators are already improving your research capabilities. No, I cannot, uh, you know, get get any more. Having two more than one curator in the galaxy does not guarantee that we can get more than one thing of those. Well, it was a good idea. <laughs> yeah. Research complete. Also, I'm happy that so far in my one new co Oh, I spoke too soon. This one colony I took... So far, I was getting just my own people on there. But now two other species just randomly show up. Because why not? Maybe I should build some Corvettes as well. If anything, they at least get in the way a little bit. It's been a while since I touched the Corvette design, so let's take a peek at it. Construction complete. Research complete. Oh, asteroid approaching pollen. I think this may be the second time that I'm saving this planet from an asteroid impact. <laughs> Maybe it's like Hoth, you know, there's just yeah. the asteroid field. Yeah, passing the passage through the asteroid field. As I recall, Hoth, uh, Hoth's orbit pass made it pass through an asteroid ring that ran that mm -hmm. ran the circumference of the system. So yeah, as much as my hope was that in 1.4 they changed the way migration where everyone just shows up even though I have limited migration to just my primary species, well they still haven't done that yet. Oh. Construction complete.
Woohoo! The, the planet was saved. And army damage has increased. Let's research one of the scourge weapons. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. <laughs> Oh god, I opened Incoming up free migration just to make people happy. Now I'm getting a thousand migration treaties. Only <laughs> only 25 months until that one gets settled. The only Corvette design that I've messed with right now is the uh, the gunboat design, which has a Devastator torpedo. Uh, there is no better torpedo, apparently, so let's go with it. Research complete. I increased its shields and improved its accuracy. And now let's build several. Construction complete. And hope that they're a tiny weapon and well they're not a tiny weapon, I think it's a medium weapon. Well, the Kalas are done. Confederacy is already at equal fleet complete. power to my to me, so they pretty much recover very fast. Yeah, they are doing pretty good. So, I guess they were a good person to bring in to our uh, fold. Indeed. Transmission. I do wonder how much incoming transmission. How, incoming transmission. How further on how old my incoming people can transmission. Get because incoming my transmission. admiral is already incoming yeah, transmission. and is sixty two years old. I suspect that the Admiral will die real quick. Real soon. <laughs> you never know. He might, you know, be like my one uh, physics uh, scientist who lived to be like, oh, 400 something in one of my games. <laughs> uh, Jesus. We're gonna add 5% attack speed to energy weapons soon enough, or we just have 5 months until that's finished. Construction complete. So many lost space battles. Oh yeah, and our whole war score thing. Yeah, it's minus eight for now, but... Income. 
incoming transmission. Oh, if we win this plan, this uh, this war, they have set up to give me one of their planets. Really? Nice. Yeah. Construction complete. Wreck old mark. I'm, I don't even know what that planet is, but. Incoming transmission. 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 Flash coolant complete. Oh no, focusing rain for energy weapon damage. Just getting all the repeatable bonuses now. Yeah, I'm up. Complete. I'm working on focusing arrays five. Though I just got my first little thing for matter compression, the armor plus five. Yeah, I don't even know which which point I am right now. <laughs> Focusing in rays up to three. Of course, well, of course, I'm getting focusing rain four, so of course I have those. Um, I had the flash, I did the flash coolant four just now. I had shields five, I think. Oh no, my flash coolant is to level 6. Never mind. Shields harmo shield harmonics 3. Definitely a lot of little bonuses. I'm working on how integrity 6. Because I feel that the whole integrity is more important since these guys use lasers and lasers basically bypass armor, right? Lasers bypass armor to an extent, but not completely. Yeah, but I'm still working on building Incoming up that transmission. Uh, what you call Incoming it? transmission. The hull points. I think it's more important in this case. Incoming Though I noticed they had a lot of shield disruptors too in their fleet. And we're getting Corvettes back into the fleet at last. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. The amount of fighters they have, though. They did have a lot of fighters, didn't they? Well, a lot of small... <laughs> a lot of everything, pretty much. <laughs> Construction complete. Yeah, as soon as these two more battleships finish, I'm gonna... Because I think my little... Yeah, my little armies are all set to go again. Because I have 18 warrior armies now, so I'm gonna send them all to try and take some of those smaller worlds nearby, hopefully. I may continue with my earlier strategy of just uh, hit and run along their uh, 
their infrastructure, see if that works. And if maybe they will chase after me. Incoming transmission. Hopefully. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. Let's see. Incoming transmission. Oh, got the well, leader lifespan plus five years. Lot of ships just waiting to get to join. Construction the complete. Construction complete. Got sixty six thousand uh, fleet power here. <laughs> Incoming transmission. And the Kalazan um, Confederacy is still considered equivalent. I'm still Come at on. just uh, forty two thousand. I suspect that a lot of their war rules are not very well defended once they acquired. Incoming transmission. Incoming That's my thought too. Their entire force seems to be Incoming in transmission. Fogari system. They're fighting. Incoming they transmission. Just, I think destroyed. No, I think they, those fleets fled. Yeah, but they have like a it's a contested system. Contested between three people too, so it's like quite remarkable, really. Well, I'm going in now against one of their systems towards the south of the galaxy. Right now, they are in Edash Edashish. It's one of the Council of Sagetia systems. Well, if you see them heading to the Araya system, let me know. Complete. Hostile fleet engaged. And now there are only transports there. They disappeared from our sensors. So, are you there already? Because if you are, they, they might have... Incoming uh... transmission. Yeah, I only see transport ships Situation and one eighty-six thousand fleet. Well, I am there, so they might be on their way. <laughs> yeah. Keep your eyes open for. Well, there's no 
jump jump drives has no effect on the on the map. It's instantaneous travel, so. Uh, also, since you uh, trade request to continue our research agreement, I noticed that disappeared again. <laughs> yep. 87,000. Incoming uh, transmission. 67, Incoming 000. transmission. Incoming transmission. Construction complete. This little class is the Atlantis class ship. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. Oh, I accidentally made some striker class corvettes. Damn it. Yeah, whatever. Hostile fleet engaged. Let's see if we can gather any intel on their fleet position from our sensor readings. Okay, I see two fleets on the fog side, pretty far away from here. I see a 3k fleet of Kaganu. and now we lost sensor range in that area, so I don't know what it is. There's a hundred and third uh is it a hundred no yeah it is a hundred and thirteen thousand fleet on anachronos which is close to the border might actually try to ambush one of those although i'll probably not be able to destroy it fast enough to prevent other other fleets from joining in the battle that's what I fear, really. Oh, you know what? They are heading down here. Yep. They are heading here. Well, just gotta stay one step ahead of them. <laughs> There's a fleet heading to Orgas, 110,000. Where's Corgus? Incoming transmission. It's gonna be interesting. Oh, fleet engaged. Oh, it's not heading to Corgus. It's like locked into a loop, changing commands. Like it was heading to Corgus, then in, now it's heading to Elishu, now it's back to Corgus. I might be able to ambush it. Incoming and it's pretty far away from Incoming the... Incoming transmission. Oh, they go into Corvus. Yeah, they went to Corvus. Situation log updated. Incoming transmission. I saw one fleet that looked like it was... Okay. Avani... Where did you just go now? Like it was nearby, but... Then it just Incoming disappeared. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. Oh, the war just ended with a peace offer. For what? Well, remember, it didn't start from us, so it was a white piece, I think. Oh. Blast! <laughs> and my admiral died of old age. Oh. At the age of 155. I did suspect that would happen. My total of fleet power, uh, 72,000. When can we declare war against them? And the 2531. So another 10 years. Lovely. Well, we have 10 years to build up. I hate how our Federation isn't making use of our uh, Federation fleets. Yeah. 
Here's 836. <laughs> I'm starting to in integrate the Sejathari, their little Incoming bit of space that they have there. I really should integrate someone. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. I got what? Incoming One, transmission. Two, three, four, five, six, seven vessels. Only seven vessels. Only seven Incoming vassals. transmission. You know, when we played, uh, you don't remember him, he's from uh, the time of uh, JK role playing and all that, but I played with a guy named Matt and he played, he liked to play uh, Rob Universalis with him, with me, and like, he would, he would only vassalize, he would never annex. So closer to the end of the game, when you went into war with him, he would not send an, an army or anything, like, it would take a little while but inside like 10 minutes depending on the distance you would just see this massive doing stack of vassal armies just marching up to your side of the, the of your side of the map wow <laughs> it was pretty funny uh so who is my who is a neighbor that i can annex that won't be too far away from my territory Uh, this guy only this guy's only going to take 110, 150 of influence, so let's annex them. And these guys only 280. I think the game is thinking. Appears to be that way. Incoming transmission. Ooh, can Incoming only integrate one subject at a time. That's unfortunate. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. My great leader died at the age of 157, 59. Who is my next leader? My le my next leader is already at the age of 137. <laughs> Talk about replacing old with old. Yeah. 
My leader is a fertility creature. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> go figure. Transmission. Research complete. What else can we do to increase our advantage here? Let's take a look at the uh, incoming transmission. Indies. Incoming transmission. We could encourage what? Uh, it's not with us. Never mind. Incoming oh, transmission. Yeah. We could increase free thought and incoming transmission. Incoming Society transmission. Welfare programs. Incoming transmission. Mm. So happiness of fifty percent. That's good. Nothing else aside from. Okay, let's put encourage free thought. Kind of deal with the long-term effects. As Construction complete. Really need that boost on research right now. We definitely need to start the next war, though, so we fight on our terms. Yeah, that way we can actually, you know, hopefully make it in such a way that we could, you know, take away the transmission. Yeah, and benefit Incoming from it. transmission. Transmission. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. I will wonder if we'll be able to seed the planets um, that uh, Sagittarius Sed can't talk. Council used to have once I integrate them. Mm. Incoming transmission. Possibly. Let's see. Uh... No, there are still some research facilities that are not entirely upgraded. And I still have some mineral silos that could be upgraded. Research complete. Ooh, in this planet, Sharia 2. It's entirely, well, it's developed, but it's not complete. as well as it could be. Let's fix that.
minerals, energy. I have so much energy right now that I think I could go way over my limit. And Sandoran 3 as well. It's not entirely developed. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. Construction complete. Take it just a moment to also try and colonize the construction a couple of complete. Yeah, I think most of the worlds that I can colonize in my territory have been. Uh, looking around, looking around, looks like it. And now I'm terraforming another two worlds. Incoming transmission. <laughs> Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. <laughs> vessels. Nice. Let's see. How long do I have till I get the Sechathari? Um, I almost got him. Oh, one more month. Oh, I have it, and I have a Gaia world inside of my range here. Oh, did you take one of the tile protector worlds? Uh, it was kind of like in between me and my vassal, so like very along the border. Sort of, it was. It belonged to me because it was my vassals, but it was kind of like out of range, complete. you know. And there's another guy world, Gilprin, which was also out of out of my territory. So let's go put another two colony ships in the making. Oh, my vassal was giving me 7,000 uh, energy credits complete. for no reason. Incoming transmission. <laughs> okay. Incoming I actually thought they were asking for 7,000 energy credits, but no, they were giving me. Incoming 
incoming transmission. Considering this guy, it has a guy Ships world, it has three construction complete. blockers on this thing. I didn't think they had blockers. Oh. Now let's keep the planet, just the planet's original name. Mondox Retreat. <laughs> Oh, it seems they fixed the problem where, uh, with on the UI, where when the ships you acquired via, via the, uh, you know, uh, integration of your vassals could not be destroyed Incoming by transmission. Uh, Incoming the actual disband button. You had to go and click on uh, press transmission. Lead. Now that's fixed. Okay, not bad. Because that was kind of annoying. Yeah. And then this planet is called Prophet's Retreat. My name is Prophet. Remember me. <laughs> Don't know if you play that game. What game was that one? Yeah, uh, it was Crisis. You start Crisis Two, actually. Uh, Prophet, the character. I don't know if you ever played any of the, cri the Crisis games. Uh, he kind of goes off in this, into a kind of a suicide run and ends with himself putting a bullet through his head, but he actually does not die. His consciousness is actually copied into the suit that your character wears. And like because of your character, the way they define the Incoming character you play is actually that your character suffered such damage that the suit is the only Research thing holding complete. him alive. And it's also damage his psyche because that's why that that's the reason why your character is silent and everything else. Because in the first in the first game, you actually had a character Incoming that spoke, transmission. Uh, that interacted with everyone else, and and so uh, Incoming transmission. your care uh, at the end of the game, your character starts. Uh, it kind of he kind of assimilates the. The suit and the the character Incoming become one, uh, way, and the, the 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 prophet personality comes Incoming forth from the suit and kind of kind of, they give the idea that the suit over the the, the prophet personality in the suit overrides the, the the character's personality that's you know that's all broken and stuff. So, and that's one of the lines from the prophet. Uh, my name is Prophet. Remember me. Uh huh. And at the end of the Crisis 3, if you don't mind the spoiler, uh, he actually goes over to live in a small cabin at the end. Like, he survives everything and goes to live in a small cabin somewhere. It's like, oh, Prophet's Retreat. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Also, do you have dark matter? You do have dark matter. I uh, dark matter? I do have the Ezo stuff. Why can't I colonize? Oh, well, the planet's not Gonna finished not yet. Uh, let's see. Gonna One of not. dark matter, yes. Because I saw, talking to the curator, it said something about the complete. enigmatic fortress and dark matter, I think, or something like that. Or something. Construction complete. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Curator, where'd you go? Okay. Incoming transmission. We could probably just grab anyone. Any of those. Let's see. Tell us about the mysteries. Tell us about the fortress. Remind us about how it is powered. The fortress contains large quantities of Incoming dark matter. Transmission. That substance and its relationship Incoming to black holes is key to understanding how the fortress has lasted so long. No Incoming one has ever found the source of its power, but it is likely to be extremely volatile. I'm just wondering if that may have something to do with powering Incoming it again, maybe? Oh. Or if you awesome. do actually need to be part of a separate quest line for it. Hmm. It's possible that if you have the dark matter element uh, as part of your strategic uh, resources, then yes, you can uh, like select a specific option. Oh, let's power it with dark matter that we have or whatever. Uh, but I'm not sure. For for us, the effect, the thing just did not fire, unfortunately. It simply refused to work, even though we were yeah. there. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. Uh-oh, the Kalazan just left us. Why? Oh. And they join another federation. Or at least they're so they have association status with them. Yeah. Well, that's going to hurt us a little bit. Incoming transmission. Special project complete. Incoming transmission.
Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. And of course, we got people migrating already. It's just gonna swarm in the new planets. Incoming transmission. At least your people are mostly of all the same species and all that. Yeah. Construction complete. Construction complete. And I'm also putting down droids in these places. Incoming transmission. Research complete. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. Ships upgraded. Construction complete. Incoming transmission. Special project complete. Scourge missile does not seem to have all that. It's not, it doesn't seem to be all that big of a deal. It really isn't, as far as from what I've seen of it. Like it's limited to large. Uh, what is the rate of fire here? It doesn't say. Cooldown is five point three five. Yeah, five point three five. The Cooldown on large plasma cannon is 4.35. Average damage at 13.27. It's larger than I think. But overall, oh, it does have better range, I guess. It has decent range and accuracy and tracking. Incoming but... transmission. Mm. I'm, I'm like considering putting it on the incoming transmission Lancer class destroyers. Just give it, just to give some variety into this mix of things, because uh, incoming transmission. It, incoming. We, transmission. we have a, like a, a domination of incoming uh, transmission. Uh, energy weapons is a, the dominant thing here, and it it ignores ninety percent of armor, but it cannot ignore shield damage. Uh, so this does less shield damage. Uh, so I might try to put it on Incoming the and see how it goes. Just like I said, the next things up a little. It's 
Yeah, but we actually lost two. We actually lost two thousand <laughs> fleet power on that. <sighs> According to the game, at least. Can't really trust the numbers entirely. Yeah, because things just work a little different at times too, and. I'll try it out too and make a few like missile destroyers. Just like ten of them. Just Incoming to see what they do. Transmission. You can at the end of the uh, like uh, at the end of the whole process you can just look at the report and see like, how much damage how much missile damage you did and stuff. Incoming transmission. Because I made some with uh let's see what's my design again. The Scourge Missile and then the Whirlwind Incoming Missiles. Transmission. Just to see what they do. Incoming Transmission. Incoming Transmission. Construction complete. Construction complete. Let's integrate another subject. Transmission. Eh, much to my surprise, they they didn't migrate all at once. Oh, on your new world? Yeah. Can of expected them to be all over it, but they there were a few migrations. Incoming transmission. But not incoming a whole transmission. Lot. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. After I build this last little missile destroyer, I'll be maxed out at my fleet capacity. Construction complete. Research complete. Construction complete.
Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. Okay, maxed out. My fleet is at 83.3k. Ooh, that's a lot. Hopefully it'll be enough. I have 20 battleships that have Giga Cannons and 4 Kinetic Artillery. And then 8 battleships that have uh, Arc Emitter and Phase Disruptors. Eat. Since the Awakened Empires seem to have much more as far as shields go. Yeah, that is a concern. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. I do still have some people that smite that are migrating for some reason. Like late migrations. Oh, the migration system I think is just a little weird. That's my take on the whole thing. <laughs> Your professional opinion? Absolutely. Because there's times that they just do weird stuff and it's just blah. Incoming transmission. About what, 40% done with the integration of sovereign territorial ter colonies? All right. Oh, we're, we're paused. Yes, I just paused it. Oh, okay. Because we're at the point where we can declare war. So let's take a look. All right. Declare war. All right. So we actually have a few options for seeding planets. Um, no total victory, I guess. There is a total victory, but I don't know if we want to do that just yet. Yeah, because the total the issue with total victory is that it's all or nothing, I think. I mean, we could do it, but it's definitely risky. Like, we risk going through this war and ending up having to do uh, white peace because we cannot get to the full war score, I guess. Yeah, so right now I'm setting up former worlds that were with the Sagittari. Unfortunately, I can't seed them, so I have to uh, actually go through and um, liberate them. Okay, so I got the four worlds there. I think near you is a world, let's see, Chohar. Chohar, I think I remember a name, world by that name. Or at least the system, but yeah, I put you to liberate that one. Um, I tried to cede it to you, but the Kundan Republic apparently doesn't approve of that. 
They're the only one that didn't. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe if I give them a planet, they'll approve. Let's see. Oh yeah, they did take the Chohar system. I wonder why. Wonder how that even happened. I think it happened because it used to be part of the whole whatchamacallit. Um it was one of those Tyal remnant things. I see. Well, it's going to be the first target. We put down some troops down here. It might actually distract the enemy because the AI might try to jump back and forth to liberate these places while trying to defend itself from our other attacks. Right now I have it set up for that one planet at Chohar to liberate and the ones around the Sajathari. Um, Is that the max we can do? Well, that's only war score 20. So we still got a whole bunch oh, okay. that we could do. Uh, how about the worlds around closer to the core next to the Kundam Republic? Alright, let's start to put these all in. Unfortunately, I don't think you can select them on the map. You have to go and select no. them on the... Uh, yeah, you uh, can type another, in there. Another uh, another qual quality of life of Europa Universalis 4, which you, you could just select them on the map. Yeah, and I mean, at least you can at least type in the name of the system, and that'll bring them up in the filter screen. Indeed. They definitely need... To add a lot of quality of life upgrades. Yeah, I mean, just my from what I've played of Crusader Kings, I've noticed that there's a big difference in quality of life, even in there versus here. All right, I think I've gotten all of those worlds. So adding all of those, we're at War Score 47. I think we should leave it at that for now. No, I'd say I'd say we can like just go for it and uh, you know go all the way to a hundred because we with multiple war scores uh, we can at some point if we feel that it's time to end the war we can end the war with less war score that we that we want you know okay we can we can grab another uh, enough war goals to to get to war score a hundred but. Cool. But we don't have to end a war with a uh, war score of 100 because we have multiple war scores of uh, war goals of lesser value and we can select those and just not select others. You know what I'm saying? I guess I get what you're saying. Like, if you want, uh, like, the, the planets you picked, they reached us to a uh, war score total. To, to force the demands to, 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 to absolutely get everything that we want of those plants on the south. You said your war score was 20. Cool. That means that, like, let's put it that this way, that the bare minimum of our, of our war goal would be war score 20. Cool. Uh, but then you add some other plants there, and that's war score 40. Okay, so we've got... So if we're winning the war get to, to 20 oh let's go to 40 okay let's go to 40 so we go on to get the war score 40 but somewhere along the way problems happen and we, we lose kind of a, a bit of a, a few battles things are looking bad we still have the option of stepping out of that with the war score 20 goals get what i'm saying uh, uh, uh on the opposite total victory is a single war goal that demands war score 100 so it's either that or white peace like we can get we, we with multiple war goals of diminished war score requirements we can get out of the war with a lesser price but we'll still be making profit i guess it makes sense i just thought that with lower war score that it would mean 
it would make it easier to get to the point where we could force them into peace or whatever. No, force war goals is always a hundred. The to, to force them entirely into like to force them ends is always a hundred. Oh, okay. They also have they they took over Lavasio as well. Lavasio. I'm not sure where that is, but I'll add that. Oh, <coughs> uh, had a sneeze. Uh, I'll add that to yours. Oh, that puts us at 101. Yeah, no, the Lavasio is always. Uh, it, it's it was one of the places where the Praetorian Scourge attacked first. It's like a tiny little system all the way isolated out there in the, let's call it the Badlands territory now. Well, we're at 96, so I guess yeah, confirm. Then. Just leave it at that. So first we attack the Chohar system. Well, you could probably attack the Chohar while I attack the. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't even need my whole fleet there. Uh, I just. I'm just gonna move the fleet there so I can uh, siege it pretty fast and get it over with. Yeah, but um, that is about it for our time with this episode. So, hope everyone enjoyed. We had some interesting moments. Um, though it was a bit of a quieter episode, I think. Not uh, quieter, but. But I believe it was also tense as we were building up towards our uh, this war. Yeah. Um, before we start, what's your um, total fleet at right now? My fleet right now is at seventy-two thousand. Although there is also a uh, there is one uh, Orion class battleship that's forming up to join with them. It's actually in the safe system. It's just not part of the arm, uh, not part of the main fleet yet. Uh, and there is another three Orion class battleships being made, along with one Atlantis class battleship. And I have an, in the second shipyard system another two Orion battles uh, class and one Atlantis. So I still got some stuff to do. We're kind of like slacked off at the end there stopped building ships well either way we're better than what we were before so oh definitely all right folks see you in the next episode where we get to do the big war against the nat fan can and hopefully make some progress